fancy golf cart, isn't it? Welcome back everybody. You're probably like me and spent your three day weekend catching up on chores that you need to do around the house. I've been mowing grass pretty much non-stop as long as the weather is permitted. But I do have this fancy golf cart out today. And I'm going to show you a little bit about disc golf. We've talked a lot about it in all of our various videos that we make back here. Today we're going to run a couple of them. I've got a little bit of grass I need to clean up around the pond too. So we're going to work through it. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. Thanks for watching. Let's get started. Now I will say it is nice to have a golf cart like this. However, my typical throw, a good one, is about 200 feet. So we may not need a golf cart as bad as I'm thinking we will. I'm going to move this out of the way. Telling you, you never know about those guys behind us. This hole, I am going to use a fairway driver. Now this plastic is all designed to be able to shape shots. You can absolutely make these things turn up, down, and around, anything you choose to. So knowing the plastic is a lot as to how this game works, much like traditional golf. Knowing your drivers and what you need to do. Okay. Let's send this down through the fairway and see what happens. All right, so this is hole number two. It is a par four. We are 437 feet from the short tee pad here. We do have some OB that we have to watch out for as we go down through. Now I have concrete pads for all 18 holes, as well as uh, I have rubber matted pads for the long shots so in behind you guys for this same hole this is hole number two uh, 100 feet behind you is the long tee pad uh, let me see we are running 437 feet at this one we're going to throw down through the gap and we are heading to the new bridge we built down there and the top side of mule slide hill so it's been a while since i've let one of these fly i hope it goes where i want it to go now, you're not throwing these like Frisbees. I'm actually gripping that underneath here. I've got a, I've got a solid grip on it, and I'm going to crank this thing down through there. Oh, that one went pretty good. Yeah. We got our 300 feet with that one. Let's go pick it up, see if we can get to the basket. And it probably wouldn't hurt to check on the old man back here mowing grass. Come out of that wood line there. We are back at about 332 feet is where I measured out the plastic. It's sitting right underneath you guys here. Just a little bit past the mule back there behind us. Not a bad throw.
I think in this situation, I am going to use a mid-range piece of plastic, and we're going to head straight to that basket. Let me show you where the basket's at. That's our lie right there. You're heading all the way down there to basket number two. Let's see how we do. Oh, that's nice. Get down. Not bad. We're down there pretty good. Let's go take a look at it. Not bad. Okay, so this is our second throw. This is a par four. So if we put this in, that'll give us our third shot and make us a birdie. Let's see how we do. Putting's the most important part of this game. There we go. We got a birdie, guys. Not bad. I'll take a birdie any day of the week. All right, we are at hole number six. Like I said, this is one of the tougher shots on the course here. 302 feet. And every bit of this is straight across that water. Now let me see if I can get you zoomed in so we can see that basket back there. All right, we're heading straight across that water. Down in there behind the big oak trees. And just slightly to the left of that tree that's in the center of the frame. And yes, we do have some plastic laying in here. Let's throw across here and see how we do. Now the best shot I have had here I actually got all the way across, skipped on the ground, and hit the basket. The worst shot I have had here, because it's water, as soon as we start across, we're OB. So if we don't touch ground someplace along the, the pond until we get to the basket, then you have to start back over here for the uh, water hazard. So my worst shot was right off the end of the tee pad here. And we've got a headwind. Now that always makes these shots challenging. And I'm going to try to get the best coverage I can for you guys here to see how we do. Let me throw another one across there. Oh, that's a good one. Nope, fade it off. Nope. One more. There we go. Go we'll get up, baby. Woo! <laughs> oh, 
We've got three of them that's on the ground over there. Let's go see if we can find them. Nice shot. Did I mention I've done a lot of weed eating today as too? I'm tired today. Well, I've got the other two picked up. And that was a fantastic shot. We're sitting right here in the basket. And let me point you over here so you can see it. It's right there. Let's put this guy in. Boy, that was a perfect drive. Let's see if we can grab us another birdie. Not bad. I always like birdies. A fun game, guys. Same rules as traditional golf, except you're using these speci specialized discs. And these things, you can, you can buy the plastic to make these turn, lift, drop, do all kinds of things with a little bit of practice and skill as far as throwing them. Great way to utilize your property. Uh, it doesn't matter. If you just put a single basket in the backyard and throw at it like you would horseshoes or like us with 18 holes here and that allows us to use the fairways and use the trails for fairways or vice versa for the mule. So we've utilized every square inch of the property that we choose to use and had a lot of fun doing it. Great way to spend family time. Again, uh, you can join clubs tournaments in your location uh, the PDGA Pro Disc Golf Association they have a lot of information on their website and you can go and visit that tell you all the rules it'll tell you what you're looking at as far as plastic different choices like that and I again it's you get four or five of your buddies hanging out and playing this stuff and it, it gets fun it really does I hope you've enjoyed the video thank you for watching I really hope you've had a great three-day weekend we're on now to the 4th of July. I'll see you on the next one. Maybe I'll get another birdie.